Hey, Aloys, Mark here, and we are working on the Relic Ruins in the No Man's Land. And this is, this is a fun one, but it's got some tricky, tricky parts to it. Uh, first, we should note, you need to, the ability to ignite Fire Gleam. Uh, it is vital to complete this. So if you don't have that ability, keep going through the main story, and you will eventually get it. And you can come back and do this. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. We're going to head off to the left of this ancient ruin. And uh, we're going to curl around back here. I'm curious what you guys think of the game so far. Are you having fun with it? Do you Are you, are you bummed out by anything? Are you enjoying anything immensely? It's so much like the original, right? But they refine just about like every aspect. Uh, with this crate, let's go ahead and grab it. And we're going to pull it out. We're going to go into that duct. Don't forget, it's L2, triangle, R2. So we can pull this duct out. We're going to work our way through that duct. Uh, we're going to do a couple things here. I'm going to try and get you through this as quickly as possible. There's a couple things, though, we need to do to sort of prep. So just come along with me on this adventure. Uh, let's go through this duct. And you'll come out on the end. There's going to be a prompt to open the vent. So go ahead and hit the triangle button. And then immediately turn around. And there is a green shine sliver here. So go ahead and grab that. That's a good item. We're going to burst that wall, but not... Yeah, we're actually going to do it from the other side. Go ahead and grab the goodies here in front. And while we're here, let's go ahead and ignite this fire gleam here. And on the other side, there's going to be a battery that we need to get access to. But since we're already here, let's just go ahead and take care of this. We don't have to worry about it. By the way, how many times have you been affected by the explosion <laughs> from the fire gleam? Uh, I'm, I'm too embarrassed to admit how many times it has actually done damage to me. Anyway, so we're going to work around our, our work away over here to this tail. So let's go ahead and climb up it or jump up it. And this is going to get us to the top of the roof. There's an opening in the top of the roof that we need to get through. Uh, there is probably two other ways to do this, but this is the most fun. So that's why I chose to go this way. We're going to drop down into the opening there. So work your way up till you get to this bush that's in the way. Just make a jump. And you should be able to land. Now, down on the right, there's more fire gleam. It'll open up the wall. You can you could have pushed the crate, come up that way. Yeah, you could do it, but you don't really need to. I think this is probably the most fun way to do it. Right. So we're going to drop down, go ahead and grab the goodies. Once you do that... So, by the way, that door on the other side, that's what we're trying to get to. That's like, that's like the end game for this Relic Ruin. Drop down. We're going to pull that... Um, that blue bracket, so it's L2, triangle, R2. It's so unintuitive. I really wish they had found another way to do this because I swear for the first couple hours of the game, I could not remember how to use the pole caster. Anyway, go through it. Now we're going to come back and grab that battery. So let's go ahead and remove the energy cell. So now that we have the energy cell, we actually have to power it up. So let's go back to the main lobby in that building. Come up to this. We're, we're, we're actually skipping like a couple steps here. It's a shortcut. We're going to charge that battery and then come across and let's just scan this stuff just to make sure everything works. We're going to scan the terminal and then we're going to scan this data point. Um, you don't need to read it now. It's not, not a big deal. Um, go ahead and come over to this grapple point. Double tap the X button so we can grapple up. And then we're going to come around this back end here. There's another crate that we could pull. So L2, triangle, R2. And let's pull this crate as far as we can pull it. And she's going to... Aloy's going to mention something about how it's stuck, and that's fine. That's what it's supposed to do. So we're going to work our way over here. They, this was a little dodgy for me. Um, it's You could do this from several different angles. This is the most effective way I found to do it. So from the left of the tree, pull it out a bit and it'll get stuck again. Then I had to come back over here. Uh, hopefully this works for you guys because this is what's worked for me. And we're gonna pull it and it should pop out. You wanna pull it down into the water. Good, now that it's in the water, let's go ahead and hop down. And we're gonna take this crate, actually wrong side. We should, let's get on the other side so we can push it flat up against the wall. This is the part that's a little strange. Um, this is obviously the way I've done it. I've done it this way three times now. Uh, it, it's an interesting way of doing it. 
um, getting the energy cell across the water. So go back to the energy energy cell. Now that's charged up, we're gonna put it on top of the crate. So go up against the crate, you're gonna press up against it, and you're gonna hit triangle. If you're not straight on with the crate, it'll probably fall off like that. So just pick it up, make sure your shoulders are square with the crate, like this, hit the triangle, and it'll go up top. Now, every single time I have done this, the three times I've done it, it has worked. So it should work for you too, but it looks like it's about to fall off. Um, when I stood on top of the crate and tried to like drop it, it just didn't work. There was This was like the most efficient way to do it. So I hope this, <laughs> I, I, I guess this is what the developers intended. Anyway, let's pick up the battery and we're gonna put it here right into that holder there. Good, we're not done yet. We still have a several things we need to do. So let's grab this crate. We're gonna push it up against this wall over here. And we're gonna get on top of the crate and jump up onto these little pieces here. And let's hit the square button and drop down. This is where we're trying to get to, all right? So they want you to enter a code. So bring up the menu, go to notebook, Go to data point. I'm showing you this because I'm not sure if the code is randomized or not. So it might be different than what I got. So I just wanna make sure we're super thorough here. Go all the way to the bottom of the data points and that's where it says relic runes. You wanna select the second one and the code is 2204. At least for me, it's 2204. So go ahead and input the code and that will open up this door, which is where we're trying to get to. Now I'm gonna let the video run. I'm gonna run around and I'm gonna grab all the goodies. So if you're looking at getting all the goodies, um, go ahead and keep watching the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe folks. It does help me out quite a bit. Thanks for checking out my video. digging up. my stash. 